My chit, my chit. My chit, my chit. I didn't read this. What is that? Oh, two. My chit, my chit. Let's go over here. Try to get it to where you ain't got to move. My chit, my chit. One, two, one, two. I'm recording. Literally, it's no pressure. Literally. I'm your host, no Bang and Bug. And we got. Go ahead and introduce, introduce yourself. Two two three down in this bitch. Oh, see, so you, you be turned up on the mic. Now you all chill. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> What's going on? You scared? Nah, I'm just chill right now. Okay, see, I'm 2 2 3 6 a.m. You already yeah. knew what the fuck was going on. Okay, she's turning up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, see, I, I, I interviewed you like a, a small interview, but I forgot the question that I asked you, so hopefully it ain't the same one, but just let nah, me know. Yeah, I, well, I know I asked you, but yeah, where are you originally from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I grew up in Kirkwood. Well, I grew up in Mechanicsville and Kirkwood, but okay. I left Mechanicsville when I was like in fourth grade and we moved to Kirkwood. So ever since then, I just grew up over there. Okay, so uh, give me your like your best childhood memory. Uh, I was just looking at it, at it the other day. We was me and my brothers and my um, sister and my cousin Corn, and we was outside and it was raining hell, and we steady running. <laughs> BJ, he trying to get his dog and shit from outside and break him in the house because it's raining hell, and um. <laughs> Gerald out there running with no shoes on. We and we out there dancing in the in the hell and everything. Like that was a good memory to see on my Facebook page. I like that. Like, okay, so I'm gonna kind of take a little time. So, what age did you realize you you like girls? Uh, like when I was in like ninth grade. Like no, not really. Like eighth grade, kind of sort of going into my ninth. So uh, like that's when I really started like going with girls. So what 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 made you like? Was it like did something happen? Cause you know they say I always bring this up. A lot of people who like go with the same sex they either like rape or molested or some shit like that. So did you get any kind of traumatizing experience where you was like? No, that didn't. Nah, that didn't make me turn gay. I just liked the girls a lot. Hold on, hold on. See, I just caught that you said. <laughs> That didn't make me turn gay. So something happened, and you just you feel like it didn't. Like so, what happened? Cause you just said it didn't. Nah, like I mean, I ain't nothing really never happened to me like traumatizing, traumatizing. But I I just always liked the girl since I was little. Okay, you, you don't want to say what it is. <laughs> but I just called it. <laughs> okay, so um, what's what's the relationship I like with your dad? Um, I got two daddies. <laughs> I got my stepdad and I got my real dad. But I don't, I don't talk to my real dad. I talk to my stepdad, but not my real dad. I don't really know him like that. So he like a fuck nigga or something? I mean, I ain't. <laughs> he's slick in though. That nigga got there. <laughs> made a Facebook page and changed that nigga last name to Walker and his last name Dick. I don't know. And then he had all his kids up there. But I don't know why. But. I just don't, I just don't, he never been that sister's little one. It was always my mama, me and my brothers and sisters and my, my stepdad. So, you know, that's just how I run with it. So, you know, what's some I've met him before. And, like, how was it? Like, he, he, he seemed like he kind of like you are? Or? Yeah, like, I mean, he, it, it just showed me. Like, me my other side of my family, it really just showed me where I get my looks from. Because I don't, like, I don't look like none of my sisters. I don't look like, I don't look like my sister. I don't look like him. I don't look like my mama. You feel me? But when I met, when I met that side of my family, it, it made me see where I look, where I get my looks from. Like, I wish my other sister would have came on my daddy's side. You would have seen, like, the way I really get, like, get my looks from. I didn't get them from my mama's side. I don't know why her jeans just didn't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, who was the most toxic person like you ever had some type of relationship with? Destiny Jackson. Oh, that was his girlfriend? That's my current girlfriend. So, so what's so toxic uh, about her? She just got a nasty attitude <laughs> and she always making that face like this. So, so, uh, this year? 
Did she ever hit you? Did she hit me? Nah, she, I mean, she tried, but she know not try me like that now. I ain't going for that. So, so you believe gonna be in, fine. So you, so oh, you believe in like domestic violence to get a person in I don't believe violence. in domestic violence. I'm going to say that right now because I got a charge on domestic violence. So I don't believe in domestic violence, but I've actually been in domestic violence where so I had to go to jail for domestic violence. Okay, uh, so let's talk about that. So what happened? You, you got beat up? No, nah, my girlfriend said I hit her ass with a belt. I, ain't, I I didn't hit her with no belts. The, the police might look back at the bitch. I did not hit her ass with no belts. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And she just she like just... okay, so we were arguing, and she got mad because um she got mad about I think she got mad about my um my heat press machine. That's what she got mad about every day. She she don't be wanting me to tire my heat press machine when I had did my clothing. Like I got a clothing line, I two two three love clothing. But I stopped doing it for a minute because I, I started going to school for um, design. So I basically stopped. And, like, I used to, like, do my sh my stuff over there at her house. And she used to always get mad, like, turn it off. You running out too much electricity in here. And I'm like, if I go to my auntie house or my mama house, they ain't going to kill. You know what I mean? Like, they ain't going to kill. They, just, they ain't even going to say nothing to me. They, they, as long as they know I'm doing something positive with myself, I'm trying to build myself, they ain't going to really say too much. Feel me? Even though I don't work no nine to five, I'm telling you now that ain't me. But I, I got me some cash. You feel me? But yeah, she just got mad about that shit, and then we end up getting an argument. And every time the police come, they can't catch me. I be gone on their ass every time. Like so, this time they came, like, and they they got they really got sick of the calls. You feel me? So when the nigga came, like he 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 really took the shit out of proportion, like. And basically, he went back, like, he went to my auntie house licking for me and shit. And he got on the phone with me, and I'm like, bro, I'm not finna go out there come to my auntie house. That shit to settle, you feel me? Like, he, like, just come to me right now, you feel me? And you ain't gonna go to jail or none of that. And I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, but that shit sound like the setup. So I ain't end up going and got down. He end up putting a warrant out on me. The next damn day, I say, like, it was a Friday. That Monday, I end up, they end up coming to the door. Knocking on the door, I just happened to look out the window. Some told me, look out the window. I seen them, I'm like, oh shit, I'm finna go to jail. You know how that, you got that feeling where you just finna go to jail, you just know. Like, I had that feeling. So I I went in the closet and hid. <laughs> and I don't know scary shit, but I was slick scared. Cause I'm like, damn, I ain't never had a warrant or nothing like that shit. I done been locked up before, but I ain't never had no warrant. Like, so. I got down. I go hide in the closet. She step outside. At least she knew to do that. Like, don't let them motherfuckers in there. You feel me? So she step outside and talk to them and shit. And they like, she like, what the fuck she going to jail for? She ain't do nothing. She ain't do nothing. And they like, um, for that incident that happened. She, so I'm like, okay. So they left. After she told them they went there, they left and went to my auntie house looking for me. But I went there. I called my auntie like, auntie. I got a warrant, and she was like, yeah, the police just left looking for you. So they pulled back up at her house, but I'm, they three deep now. So I'm like, oh, shit, they trying to take my ass jail for real. So I hopped the banner stone they had, got the fuck on, got down, went to the next apartment, stayed over there for a little minute, chilled out. And then I, I went and went to my mama's house for like two weeks, got my money up, and then I turned myself in. I sat in there for like a day because it was a misdemeanor. They gave me simple battery and family violence. But yeah, she said I hit her ass with a belt. Okay, so how, how many girls have you been with at one time? <laughs> I probably done been with like maybe like four girls at one time. So 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 okay, so what do you? Uh, okay, I'm gonna get into this. So do you strap on for girls or <laughs> what's what's the move for two two three? I mean, if they want it like that, I don't strap her down though. But if they want it like that, then hey. I so, got a strap though. So you like eat ass and all that shit? Hell no, nah, I ain't with all that other shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah, I ain't trying to eat none of no shit come out of. Fuck that. So you both nasty, you don't think? Nah, I, I eat pussy really straight. That better than eat some ass shit. A bitch pussy can be clean, right? Your ass too. But I ain't trying to eat that. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's too much. Huh? Hell yeah, that's too much. They're going to leave it too far. Okay, so when was the last time you cried about something? Um, this morning actually, I cried about my brother. 
um i woke up like really just i had a photo shoot this morning and like when everything be cramming me at one time like it just be overwhelming my mind and then i'm like i really don't want to go and then I'm like, i gotta go it's for my brother you feel me but uh, yeah and i just started thinking about him that morning so really that morning so what it was like I don't know, he just, so what'd it be like? He popped in your mind or you just think of a like real good ass memory then? Like, like, like no, nah, I was on the phone with my grandma this morning and I was just telling her oh, how I had a um, photo shoot and everything. Oh. And she just said, I wish I could go. I wish I would have been able to make one of Gerald's shows. You feel me? And it's like, it got to me at that point. And then I made it like in my song, if you listen to it, I put her in it and we was talking about that and she, she like, you ain't gotta worry about it if I'm getting old and I you ain't gotta worry about that. And I'm like, okay. But she just made she just made me start crying. Cause my grandmama, she always like, I can always just go to my grandmama and like just talk to her. Ain't got that white ego in this bitch. I ain't there. Yes, shit. sir. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut that's what I'm saying. Call that me that Adam, that that's an ego, oh man. Oh, my God. Spring that boy that spit beat it out, Spring okay? Time, man. Adam, that's an <laughs> ego, man. Y'all know what's going on. 223 in the bit. 223 the name. Hey, 223 the gang. 223 the name. Still yeah. that same y'all niggas said shots at your mama brain, bitch. <laughs> 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 Straight up. Gotta know that. <laughs> Straight so, up. so what, why you cut your hair? You, you no, no, it's, it's uh, springtime for real. So springtime, you feel me? I cut the hair, so I'm like a different nigga. Okay, you okay, you feel different when that you cut so, Yeah, that's just some shit I do, you feel me? Because niggas be used to go tea all year until yeah. this time of year. So I cut everything out. That nigga know I still got it. When I cut my shit, I look young as hell. And when I have the hair, I look old. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah Adam is the ego like on back. Five in it, Adam, man, I'm 13, man. I'm 13. Adam, I'm okay, no the ego in the fucking building, man. You feel me? Okay, so what's, what's the uh, worst lie uh, like a, a girlfriend told you? Mm. Wow, worst lie. I mean, ain't no bitch really told me no lie that hurt me. I don't give a fuck a bitch can tell a lie all day. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck do you bitch you doing? Yeah, you can't lie. I tell lies. See, I'm the king of lies, so you can't lie to me, baby. I don't give a damn. Well, so what's what's the worst lie like your homeboy has told us? I can't even think of uh, I can't even nah, them niggas ain't never told me no lie. Them niggas solid, they ain't even gonna count. But them niggas ain't never not once told me no lie. Them niggas had my back since the day I knew that Okay, so so are you willing to share your girl with your homeboys? Are you a good friend like that? Hell no. Hell no. Did that really define you as a good friend? <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Nah, I'm, like, I'm saying, you know, some nigga think, man, fuck that bitch, man. That bitch for the homies. Yeah, nah, she, she some ain't fucking like that. It depends I mean, on, like, what's going some on. Some nigga think like that. Like, you know, you should let all of us hit it. Nah, <laughs> I mean, I done had, like, I got this one friend, his name Turtle. <laughs> that my dog to the death. Like, but, you know, he think my girlfriend thick, but I never, he'll never do no shit. Like, he'll never go, like, try to do no shit like that, you feel me? But, Turtle, what Turtle. Like, that? like, I just know him. Like, I mean, he go, he actually go with my little sister, you feel me? So, he, turtle, he just turtle. family, bro. So, I know he. He just like thick bitches. <laughs> and he always be like, boy, that ass fat. You feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. He say this to you? Yeah. He, he said it to her? Nah, he don't say it to her. He just said it to me. Oh, turtle, so she turtle. she ain't never heard him say that? Nah, she ain't never heard him say that. Oh, we going viral. That's she just, still just she just viral. No, 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 no. You can tell your nah, mom. Nah, yeah. Like, I, hold on, wait a minute. He, he can tell me that. I feel like he can tell me that. Yeah, he is. Hold yeah. on, wait a minute. So if I told you your wife was thick, you wouldn't want to slap the shit out of me? It depends, depends on, on how you do how it. You do it. Yeah. If, yeah. Okay, no. now if you come like, to me, you be like, like hey, hey bro, I ain't even gonna... Damn, your wife, bro, I need to find me one like, her. Oh, she, she got that. Nah, not like that. Nigga. Okay, if you just be like, man, your shit. Your wife thick as fuck, nigga. Nah, nah, he don't come <laughs> up like that. He walked out and said, shit, I ain't like that. Let me see that nigga face. Nah, nah, nah. It's the way he said it. Your wife took his fuck. Like, hell no. 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 Like, hell
<laughs> but now, but like, if you go home, boy, you come to me, you be like, oh shit, bro, yeah, yeah got that oh, shit, bro, no disrespect, but, but, but that shit, how he come in. I'm trying to get me like, one like you. That how he come in. I'll be like, shit, got that. I might even tell you, man, shit, my wife ain't got that. Man, got that. He like, shit, man. And if he that ain't even one of, man, that ain't a fan. Then I won't even be tripping. Yeah, because he. Cause but he, if you just come he's straight up. Easy in that nah. movie, you feel me? My name Tyrone. And that ass. And that ass. Nah, we ain't going for that one. I, I say, a, so like, I say something about, like, my homeboy, I say she pretty or something like that. That's the far as far as I'm going, but. She think that's a little bit too far. I don't think that. It, it's just the way. It's just the way he said. But it's even right. she think that's like okay. Alright, shit, it's a lot of things out here. Fact. Yeah, now that's that, that's now like, that's, like you, that's like you going overboard. Oh, like God oh, damn, oh, why your bitch ass fat? Like hold up, nigga, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> that's a whole different story. Way <laughs> <laughs> <Great> raw, <Rob>, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's uh? What's the worst thing a friend has got you involved in? Mm. I can't even think of mm. the worst thing a friend ain't got me involved in. Probably, I could say, I probably say, like, okay, <laughs> when me and my friend, we was in the villas, bro, and, um, Villas. Yeah, Oak Tree Villas over there on Kensington Road. They done changed the name to them now, though. Well, I no, seen niggas get knocked out over there. No cap. Niggas, niggas get their head blown off of we But it done changed them. I seen niggas get his head knocked the fuck yeah, out over there. Tree. It really done changed, though. Like, so we was in that motherfucker, like, Everybody already knew us. We was we had been running through that bitch since we were little. You feel me? Like, so, me and my friends. It wasn't even my friend. It was actually my ex girlfriend and her sister. They got the, like they got to argue with the girl. Like these girls had tried them, and like back then we weren't going for none of that. Like you can't if you try one of us, you trying all of us straight up. You feel me? So it's like I'm surprised we didn't go to jail that day. Like cause we were still young, but you feel me? It was a whole lot of people out there, but. Man, these girls that start fighting, like, my pot, like, they arguing and shit, like, and then that thing, you know, turtle pull up. This nigga pull turtle, up. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> that nigga that is squirtle. This nigga pull up on a scooter. First thing that nigga do is hop off that bitch, go punch a nigga dead in his face. Boom. That thing, you know, all of our last shit, finally, you know, was in the park. Like, it was about, it was probably me, Keonde, Woody, Tay, her mama, and Charisma and Zay, like, and it was one nigga and two girls, like, so, me and my, me and, me and Karima over here, um, being that girl lad, like, then, Woody and his mom, like, my, my partner's like, they don't give a fuck, they'll be the dog sleep out of anybody, female, male, they don't Bisexual. Care. Man, especially Woody, boy, that man was over there being that girl face in, boy, like, I'm talking about, we was over there going so crazy. We had to run out the park race. Like, it was just so crazy. Like, we all like down, hanging with these damn niggas. <laughs> the head bisexual. Like, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga beat the shit out that girl. Like, oh my God. She was, she dressed like me, you feel me? He ain't give no fuck. He beat the fuck out of her. Beat the sleeves off, shot at her. Oh my God. So, when, so if you ever took her off like they fighting, most of you wouldn't even say it, but. I, I, my whole life, I took one loss. I ain't gonna count to you. I was in goddamn middle school, bro. I mean, I wasn't in middle school. I was going to Jiminy Cricket. What, Jiminy Cricket? Yeah, right down Glenwood. I mean, right down, yeah, Glenwood. And, um, it was a girl named Kaya. Like, she would, she would, like, basically related to, like, basically, like, the people there was her family, you feel me? So, like, she just had some point to prove, like, and we got to fight, like, but back then I ain't know how to fight, like, I knew how to fight, but I really didn't know how to, like, throw my hands, throw my hands till I got with my partners, like, and them niggas, like, my oldest brother, he used to fight with me, but he ain't, like, fight like that, like, my partners, the minute I got with them niggas, them niggas used to pick my ass up, try to slam me on my back, everything, like, and the more you keep doing that shit, like, that shit be like, man, y'all niggas ain't finna keep trying me, like, I'm finna get up here with y'all niggas, so now, 
Them niggas can't even try me like that. I beat the sleep out of one of my partners. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I got knocked out one time. I ain't even get knocked out, bro. Shawty J got down. We were just fighting. I felt like I lost. You feel I me? I got knocked out one but time. I was like 15. Sweet. Hell nah. I heard my auntie say, You knocked out my nephew. <laughs> that nigga in the background celebrating. Like, do 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 do. Not the nigga out. Do do do. I knocked the nigga out. Once I heard say, You knocked out my nephew. I woke up, that nigga back there, do 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 I came right over behind his ass. do 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 but my auntie woke me up. She said, oh, hell no. Nah. You knocked out my nephew. I know you heard that shit. Hell like, yeah. Oh, that that shit brought me out of the sleep. Because I ain't going to lie. I was dazed. But when I heard him say that, I was like, I can't go out bad like that. But I got to get up, boy. Got up and just so happened. Like, I said, he was back there. Do -do -do -do. Hey, nah. I knocked out my nephew. 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 I knocked out my I didn't call him that. Behind like that. his ass. He, could, he kept moving, so I'm behind his guy right here. Yeah, Watch as long as you got respect. that bitch locked, that nigga ain't going nowhere. Yeah, over with. Yeah, over with. That nigga could pass out. I done made somebody pass out like that. That man ain't knocked out, though. I never thought I was going to get knocked out ever in life until that. Okay, okay. okay. So, who was the most solid individual and the fakest person you ever met? <laughs> Ha 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 Wow, he going viral. <laughs> I ain't gonna count. The most solid is my brother. That nigga ain't never folding on God. My brothers. I, I gotta say all on boy. BJ, goddamn Keande, goddamn Turtle, Woody. Them niggas ain't folding. I know that for a fact. You feel me? Now, fakest, he's the uno. No cap. Turtle, turtle sound like a real one. Turtle like, a real one. Shout out to Turtle, bro. Turtle in every one. story. Squirtle a real one. Squirtle a real one. In every story, he done been in that motherfucker. That mean he was really dope. He, that, that, that nigga been there, but that, I, I met them in, I met Keon Day Woody and, um, Keon Day Woody and Turtle in high school. I was in 12th grade. They ain't have nowhere to go, you feel me? Like, 12th grade, yeah, me and my mama was in, in age each other in Nick's, okay. like, so. So great, yeah, I really didn't have nowhere to go. And them niggas Shit. like, I met that nigga one day, Keon Day, bro. I we were fine. And then nigga said, I said, hey bro, you he had some brass knuckles. You know, brass knuckles used to be the shit back then. Especially when you about to beat some niggas ass. So we was it was my tour grade year. We was in high school and got down. Like, and this nigga had some brass knuckles and we go tell him we finna fight this nigga, like. And we like, bro, you want to come come with us and fight? He like, hell yeah, let's do it. Like, he didn't even say nothing else. Like, he just growed with us. Like, he you the feel pop-off kid. Yeah, like, you feel me? That thing, you know, that nigga and them throwing them brand knuckles. Every bitch, click got know? the pop-off kid. Nah, I think Woody the pop-off kid. But Woody. you know, to be the pop-off kid, you got to be the nigga that just go in the nigga shit or be ready for that shit. No question. That Woody, bro. That Woody. That nigga, he don't even give a fuck, boy. Like, that man, you could tell one thing up. Like, he like, boy, hey, who the fuck you think talking to my sister? Like, he don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, like, he pop off, kid. Yeah, like, he don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, boy, you supposed to be like, look, man, that was hard, man. It's the mic, that's what it was. Yeah. I learned that shit from them comedians. When they be telling jokes, then they be hitting the mic on their pants. It be sound like they hurt, but it really just be a little thump. You know yeah. Man? Okay, you didn't finish it, but okay, so how did Heezy Uno be started? Like, what? What happened? What he did to you? All right, so he, me and Heezy, we made a music video. I mean, I'm not a music video. Now, I ain't even, I'm not even gonna say, first of all, I'm gonna start this shit off like this. I fucked it with Heezy at first. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like that. Like, I didn't never fuck with him. Like, he just won my partner. You feel me? Every nigga that ever said something, Heezy can't rap. I don't give a fuck. I, I always told them, hey, boy, fuck that. Bruh, bruh, straight with me. You feel me? Because he the first person that ever just, like, he, he didn't even know I rap. He just listened to my song. He like, hey, bro, let go. We, we finna record a song. And I'm like, shit, let's do it. You feel me? We recorded a song in here. How? Boom. 
He paid for the shit and everything. So we we keep making songs. We keep making songs. Now, as we keep making songs, the more we keep making songs, Heezy plug me in with his people. You get what I'm saying? Now, you plug me in with your people. They're my people now. You feel me? Once you plug me in, shit, we locked in. I don't give a fuck who you is, bro. Like, you, if you plug me in, we plugged in. So, we went to this, um, we went to Vision Studios. I say, like, a day before. Now, I, the day we went to Vision Studios, he paid, he wanted to do the song over so bad. Like, he, he rest shit. Like, he just be ready to move. Like, he don't give a fuck. Like, if he ready to make a video, he ready to make that bitch. Like, you feel me? If he ready to record, he ready to record. So if I ain't got the money, he, he gonna pay for it regardless. You get what I'm saying? So we went to the studio. We recorded the song. Now, that song we had re-recorded re three times, bro, because it just was not right. But we had finally got it right in there because he didn't sound right at the beginning of the part. I, I, I'm the hype man in the song, so I sounded better. You get what I'm saying? So we fixed the song. Boom. Now... The nigga who mixed and mastered all shit, Steve-O. Fuck with that nigga to the death, boy. That nigga hard. But his ass, he like, um, he like, shit, take my number, goddamn, fuck with me. I fuck with your campaign. Boom. That's how me and him got locked in. Now, even though Heezy took me to that studio, Heezy didn't know that nigga. You feel me? He only knew the owners of Powerhouse. You get what I'm saying? He didn't know Steve-O personally. So, the next day, I say like, I say like what that was, man. Like uh, maybe like two days later, my girl paid for me to. I ain't my my money had stopped for a second. You feel me? Like I wasn't having no income for like three weeks. Why? Cause like they just stopped my unemployment. You feel me? Like I wasn't having no income. Like, but I was still I was still having. I'm not gonna say I wasn't having no income, but I wasn't having income to where I could spend it on my music. You get what I'm saying? I had to do other shit with that shit. You got bills. You got bills. You got all that shit. You feel me? Like so I had to do that. So, my girl, she get her shit, and she take me to the studio, because I, I had just been wanting to make my own music, like, you feel me, like, ever since I started with him, I had already had music on my own, but I, I'm not gonna count, I was making music on Bad Lab, and my brother and them, they always said, but stop making music on Bad Lab, but that's just how I started, you get what I'm saying? So, I go to the studio, my girl pay for me an hour, boom, I make a song, I record a video at the studio, <laughs> It pisses them off because I didn't invite them. You feel me? So his bitch texts me and gonna say, no invite. And I was like, she ain't laughing anything. My girl paid for me to go to the studio. You feel me? She like, you ain't gotta explain yourself to them. Fuck them. Like, you feel me? Cause they start getting an attitude. That's actually true though. Cause That's I true. cause I went to the studio without them. Like they kept getting like you could just tell the animosity kicked in right there. Like you, you feel can't me? like you can't move without them. Exactly. Yeah. Like they like, why you didn't take us? And I'm like, shit, I wanna make some music by myself this time. You feel me? Like I done made five tracks with them man. Like he wanted me to make E P with him. Boom, I gave him E P. That's what he asked for. You feel me? He just wanted E P with me and him on it. I gave him that. You feel me? But after that, I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to see how I can, how I, how I really was by myself. You get what I'm saying? Like, not with another nigga. You feel me? Like, so he got mad about that shit. Like, and he, he basically tried to say, like, I traded on him because I went to the studio without him. But it wasn't like that, bro. It was just like, I really wanted to make music by myself. And it, it made, it really made me feel some type of way because I fucked it with Heezy. And, and it wasn't even him. It was his little lame ass bitch. I ain't even gonna say it was him, bro. It was his bitch. Like that whole. So let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. Do you think the success of y'all coming to World Premier Wednesdays when y'all came the first two couple of weeks with him? Do you think that's what turned him into thinking that y'all had to be reliable on him? No, like what I think happened was, I think once we did that show at the, I think once we like, once we did that show and he seen like, at the, Yo star potential. Exactly. Cause like, I'm gonna be honest, even them two weeks, I don't know how you feel boy, but them two weeks y'all came, you stood out the most. Yeah, we knew Yeezy prior, that's cool. But like when you came to text with him, you and Mino and the rest of the two two three, y'all stood like out. And the only thing different about him and his girl was that they wore jerseys the next week. It wasn't nothing really spectacular. Yeah. It's like y'all was coming with that pain struggle 
I, I'm from the trenches music. He was coming with that um, kind of commercial but hood music. Yeah. And like, I think like, right after that, had, I think once we once we performed for y'all, like that was my first ever performance. And I hey. see like, when he, when he seen like, he, he just kept trying to tutor me, like coming to the performance, he was trying to tutor me and everything, but in my head, I already had it. You get what I'm saying? My brother been rapping for forever. You get what I'm saying? So I already knew. I been, I, I been hit before he was my hype man. I was his hype man. You get what I'm saying? So I already knew what the fuck was going on. Like so, he just kept trying to say like, "Oh, you got to do this. You got to hold the mic like this. You got to do this. You got to do that." You feel me? But when he seen that, I actually went in there and I actually didn't need him. I felt like that made him feel some type of way. And then after the, after we did that, after we performed. It was just so embarrassing how he just would not shut the fuck up while we trying to do an interview, bro. Like, you talking, he he want, I'm just showing my bitch papers. I'm finna show my bitch papers. Fuck you finna do all that for? Like, that shit private, bro. Don't do not do all that. You doing all that turn up. You fucking up all interview. You get what I'm saying? You jumping in all shit. You and your bitch yelling. You feel me? Like, that's, that's so unprofessional, bro. Like, it's like, I realized, like, I can't take them everywhere I go, so I had to let go of them. But I'm not gonna say that I don't like them. I'm not. I don't. I. I'm not gonna say that I don't like Kizzy. You get what I'm saying? I don't like his bitch, cause that bitch pulled up to my house, tried to fight my bitch while my bitch was in the shower. You feel me? My bitch coming to the dope butt ass naked, like, and I gotta push this bitch out the way while she's trying to swing on my girl. And I had a Kizzy study trying to dap me up. And he, when his bitch came to the door, he studied, he at the bottom of the steps on some scary shit. Like, I told him, I said, bro, get your bitch. Like, yo, bitch, how, how, how do you want a bitch that act like this, bro? They come to somebody else's shit and turn up like that. He allowed it. Exactly. You allowed it, fuck, nigga. So that make you the problem, too. You get what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't no problem, shit. If my bitch didn't have on no clothes, we would have been out there. Hen, I don't give a damn. You get what I'm saying? But it's just a simple fact that y'all came to my door. And after I just told y'all I was finna bring it, y'all did all that at about $45 fucking dollars. Y'all not having it, bro. Y'all not having no motherfucking money, bro. I tried to bring y'all those $45 the, the day before, but y'all want to act scary and not open y'all door. I'm banging on y'all shit. Y'all want to act like y'all sleep. So I just called them the next morning. Right before I go to the mall, I'm like, hey, bro, I'm finna bring you these little $40. Because I told him, like, I don't, I don't want none of my music on your platforms. I don't want none of my music on none of your shit. Take that shit off. So after that, he started doing that Instagram shit. Blocking niggas on the ground and shit. You feel me? Like, this nigga gonna block me on the ground right after that shit. And then once I tell him to take all my music off, he wanna add me back. Like, so that make me feel like you just only wanna fuck with me for clout, bro. You feel me? You just only wanna fuck well. with me because of my music. You get what I'm saying? But you... We know now that you just a clout chaser. <laughs> yeah, that's been it's exposed. Uh, so, unfortunately, I, I just had to, like, he just, he not putting no money in my pocket. He, he ain't, I ain't got no time for easy, bro. I'm going to elevate with or with, without him. You feel me? He want to text my phone like, oh, you only got 10 views, all this, then the third. Well, bitch, I got 200 subscribers and you only got 160. And bitch, I only been doing it for a month. And get your weight up, boy. Like, and none, it's no pressure, like, literally. You should... He texts your phone, told you got 10 views. Exactly, oh, nigga. What? And I, on, on YouTube, and I had just posted the video yesterday. Like, come on, nigga, what you expect? I'm just starting this shit. But, bitch, you look at my shit now, I got way more subscribers than you. You feel me? Like, I just gonna bring Flo Malcolm back on the show. Flo Malcolm is funny, man. Shout out my brother, Flo Malcolm. Hey, shout out to that boy. That boy <laughs> pussy come on, boy. TK said he don't want that. Oh damn! Well, I can't bring it for But we gonna do like we gonna start doing. We gonna start charging for IG interviews, man. <laughs> Y'all niggas is funny, man. Look, listen, that shit just funny to me, man. Man, I, and, and the thing <laughs> with that shit with Flo, bro, I felt like Easy was a real bitch for that shit, bro. You wanna pop your shit on me, but you when this nigga call you, or you wanna, I, I, I apologize, I apologize. That's that whole shit, bro. <laughs> That's I ain't want to say it. But so when I say shit, it, then bro. I got to knock a nigga out. That's that whole shit. So I just want, I just want to say that. I, 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 I apologize. Like, it wasn't even like that. It was the liquor. Bitch, how you going to blame that shit on the liquor? Come on now. Exactly. Bro, that shit went on liquor, other bro. Shit. He was like, man, I did this, I did this. And when he said it, I was like, damn, he, he responded so fast. It's like he had that ring. Man, I ain't gonna cap, bro. 
That nigga used to shoot up, boy. That nigga oh. used to do heroin. Fuck that. <laughs> I mean, you can tell. That's why I asked that. Like, that boy used to stick week. needles in his arm. But what concerned me is when that? his girl, when, when uh, his manager was like, we trying to go viral. And I was just like, damn, bro. Y'all ain't going viral. This ain't a part of the Y'all ain't going viral. I'm trying to look for, boy. Not just for, just doing it for anything. Exactly. That's that's exactly what he, he brought flow name up to to act. I felt like he brought Flo name. He ain't had no reason to bring that nigga name up. What the fuck you brought that man name up for? That man don't know you. Talking about you done perform with that man and all of that. That nigga don't know you by a can of paint. So why the fuck would you have that man name in your mouth? You get what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't want to really say too much about me, but oh, I just don't fool with her like that. She cool and all that, but people burn bridges. What bridges, nigga? Like, come on. Yes, say this. He, he, he in the top three right now. We got Million Dollar Hefe. We got, uh, he's in Udo. We got Flo Balco top three. Shit, yeah, this probably, it. this probably finna slide. This interview might slide in there, though. Yeah. This interview might. Only because niggas so thirsty for the other shit. Uh, and Million Dollar Hefe want me to book him. Man, he said he gonna send that right. check next week. I, I, mean, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta a nigga that wanna be on Heezy on her head right now. Oh God, but get what I do. I play it sacred at my little brother and I can't see him go to jail and I can't see him die. You feel me? I, yeah. it, it'll, it'll it break my that. heart. You feel me? So that. you feel, I keep, I keep him tame. That little nigga gonna go at all time. All I gotta do is say one word and he gonna go pop that nigga. I know where that nigga stay at. I know where that, I know that. Come I don't on. think it's a serious. It ain't it's it's not. entertainment. It's, it's, it's entertainment. You feel me? And it's, a, and it's at the same time, I feel like this. It's a business, so all I'm gonna do, I got a song about Heezy. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you got the diss oh, song? God. Oh, God. You got the diss song? Oh, God. I don't give a fuck. So you done dropped the diss song? I dro I'm, I'm dropping a mix, say, I'm dropping a whole EP tonight, and get what? The first song on that bitch is gonna be Fuck Heezy on my mama. I don't give no fuck. Play, play the insert, Bino. Play the insert. Play it. Play it. Play the insert. <laughs> Bitch, do not claim. He claimed two, two, three. <laughs> like, nigga used to like scream two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three. But why you not? Play the song at the end, cause it. You can, I can sing you this one if you want me to. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. DJ, send that to the audience, man. Uh, but uh, I'm saying y'all might can like you know make up and shit like if he come to you and be like um you know I fuck up because he kind of sound like that Gucci Mane and Walker shit a little bit. Ah uh, no, nah, the only way no nah, no nah, we can never be cool again only because of his bitch. His bitch fucked that up for him. She fucked that up. He that do sound that crazy. Up. She was trying to fight him. She was nigga. Exactly, crazy. bitch. You bitch. You can't even fight. My bitch gonna drag your little dog ass. Come on, ho. I would drag you like don't play with me. It was just it I just felt like it was just so disrespectful that that bitch to come to my house like that. Like and the only reason why I didn't slap that bitch cause I got I, I ain't even supposed to be around her, you feel me? I ain't even supposed to be in those apartments. So if I get locked up in the apartment, bitch, I ain't getting out. So bitch, you ain't even worth it. Just take your like I told them, bro, get your little stinking ass bitch off in front of my house. Okay, he he study trying to dap me up. No. Okay, now I don't want, I don't want to get no calls. <laughs> I will take none down. Hey, I'm not easy. Uno. You don't gotta tell. You don't gotta take shit down. It's a lot of niggas that told me to take me. Hey, that nigga called the next day. I don't give a fuck. Don't take shit. I say that. I don't wanna burn no bridges with Flo Malcolm. That's bitch. 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 So even if I don't look at it on the YouTube channel, I look at it on my phone. Like, this nigga said I don't want to burn no bridges with Flo Malcolm. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. What bridges? But then when I tried to stop him from talking because I know Flo is, is like exactly. that. Exactly. He kept he running said his everything. He said everything is, uh, what he said? He used the L word. Fuck what he said. Uh, he said everything was cool, though, pretty much, in so many words. And I'm like... Why do that and then ask us to take it down that literally the next day will flow on your ass, bro? Because it's literally no pressure. I don't get it. But, so, let me break this shit down for y'all niggas. You want us to take it down? It's going to be a band each day or something, nigga. 
Cause we get a thousand views in a day, nigga. So you want us to take it down, nigga? It's a band each day, nigga. If you ain't talking like that, we ain't taking shit down. And come oh see God. me by the nigga. Come oh see God. me. Come see Big E. Come oh see Adolescent Ego by that ego. shit, nigga. Yeah. That way. That way. Yeah. A thousand Why each motherfucking day, on. nigga. Cause we make a thousand views in a day. So whatever that it's view right count say on that motherfucking video, nigga, that's how much you gotta pay. If it say 2,500 yeah, views, you gotta pay $2,500, nigga. Stop playing with me. I will extort y'all pussy ass rapper. Y'all niggas some pussies on the low. Don't play with me. Don't call the time I take nothing down or none of that. Just like I said, I got me and all the heffet coming in. He wanna come back up here. And guess what? We ain't taking shit down. Nothing. Nothing. Cammy, don't nothing call me time all. I take nothing down. Y'all create y'all own problems. Hold nigga, on, hold on. She told you take No, down. she didn't. But when he come oh. back up here, I feel that that could be the case. And with that being the case, I'm going ahead and letting me stay right now. I'm not taking I'm not nothing taking down. down. You want to pay your check to come on well. here and speak your piece? Do that. But if you're not doing that, then we got nothing to talk about. Thousand yeah. dollar per motherfucking views. I'm telling you, whatever the fuck the view count say, that's how much of a check you owe Bug and me. And me and Bug brace that bucking that bitch down right down the middle. Bust it down, out, out. Ooh, we busting that bitch down right down the middle. Don't play with her. Don't play with it. Okay, okay. So, um, I guess what's the uh, the biggest loss you even took, and how did you recover? Losing my brother. That was the biggest loss I ever took. R.I.P. Uh, 223. The boy was gonna be rich. I swear to God. If I wasn't even gonna ride that one way, oh God. I just wish he would just heal the goddamn ride his own way so we wouldn't have to do it for him, you feel me? But that was the biggest loss I ever took. I ain't even gonna care. Like, right after that, goddamn, the next day, my right after my brother died, July 22nd, he died. July 23rd, I stuck my hand in the fucking. One of those things that blow up a moonwalk. Don't know why the fuck I did it. I don't know what the fuck was going blow on with my head. One of them things that could blow up a moonwalk. You know, you know them things that you put in the back of the moonwalk, the fan, bro. Oh, she talking about the, the um, machine. thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. You talking about the machine. I stuck my hand in that shit. Oh, moonwalk. No, moon rock, no, no, the moonwalk. Like, you know them things bounce you blow house. up the bounce house with. Oh, you talking about like one of them the party, um, them little yeah. kid party houses thing. Yeah, like my um, I was at this, I was at the car wash I used to work at and shit, and um, I don't even know what the fuck was going on through my head, but I ain't even gonna cap, like, that motherfucker was just right there, and I was just, I was just sticking my hand in there, like, mm, mm, that bitch didn't even catch. I stuck my hand in there one more time, that bitch sliced my fucking hand up, luckily to this day. What right now? Luckily to this day, I still got my fucking fingers, because them bitches could have been gone, like. He yeah, said yeah. one more cut, but he said if I would have put it in there one more time, they would have had to chop my goddamn finger off. But I don't even know. But you were just mad? I don't know, bro. That shit was just like right after the day my brother died, and I don't know what the fuck was going on to my head, in my head, bro. Like around that time, I was just was taking L's out the ass, bro. I was like, for real. But I, I really learned from that shit. I'm straight now, you feel me? Okay, what, what age you start gangbanging? I start gangbanging at, um, I'm not a gangbanger, let's correct that, I'm a gang member. <laughs> what's, what's the other Back then I used to gangbang, we used to be wild, but now we calm, we, we not focused on gang, crip not, I fuck with crip, I fuck with all my crips, you feel me, I'm big neighborhood, but, back then, when we used to gang bang, we used to be troublemakers. You get what I'm saying? We used to get in hella shit. Like, we used to just see us doing shit for no reason, but that's just who we was back then. You get what I'm saying? But as we got older, we, like, I started, I got in crib when I was in the 12th grade. I was seven. I was 16. In the 12th grade, I was 16. Okay, hold on, man. She did. So, you know how... I remember they used to say either a girl can everybody can fuck her or Oh no, nah, I they, fought to get in. I ain't fucking nothing. I fought with my fist too. You can't two fuck girls. Either. You can. You can fuck to get in. I, it's a girl that we did like that. <laughs> oh wait a minute. So like so have you ever been with a dude or you just always been with girls? Like, no, nah, I I done been with a dude before, like when I was little, but Little. When I got, like you was ten or something. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> when I was like 
like in eighth grade. That's it. After eighth grade, that shit stopped. Matter of fact, no, ninth grade, that shit stopped. I was dating. I mean, you my nigga, nigga for real. You my nigga for real, but I'm gonna keep it 100. <laughs> 100, all the way 100, because this literally is no pressure when we be going viral. 100, you probably didn't look bad as a woman, Shouty. Um, I didn't, but I just didn't. That wasn't me. I'm, a, I'm, I'm like, don't call me no dyke. I'm not no dyke. I would never say that. I'm I said no you dyke. my nigga. I know, like, I, I'm not saying, I'm saying like, so I like. disrespectful? Yeah, to me it's disrespectful because I'm not no dyke. You yeah. feel me? Like, I just, point? like. A it's dyke a is a female <laughs> who really want to be a male. Like, she go through everything just they to be a male. Like, you feel me? I'm not finna do all that what God gave me. I'm keeping it. They do the raps. Like, I just like the way I dress, honestly. Like, I feel like I look good like this. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you comfortable. Yeah, I'm comfortable Ain't nothing with wrong, wrong being comfortable in your own skin. Like, I I had a, a partner. She, she was a dyke. But she never wore boy clothes. But you hear her talk. You see how she walk. Yeah. She got on a half shirt, thick ass to the like ass jeans. But you walking straight her, like a she... nigga though. Like and like she fine, but like she don't like nothing yeah. on no nigga tip. Like everything female, yeah. but like she like. I mean, again, it's just. I guess it's like you just being comfortable with what you like. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah, know like, like I went to middle school with some. I had to learn to be comfortable with myself. You feel me? Like when I when I used to dress like girl, I always just think like, damn, my hands big as fuck. Like, but you feel me now? My hands look good. They fit me. You, you get did. what I'm saying? So I'm straight with me. You feel me? Okay, yeah. I was about to ask you the question. Okay, man, I was gonna ask you. Okay. So when you want to have kids, you going to have it? Yeah, I'm going to have a kid for my mama. Only for That's my mama. That's real. I'm going to have a kid for my mama because my mama always asks me, you going to give me a grandchild? You going to give me a grandchild? You feel me? And I just feel like it's I just feel like it's only right before she go. Like, because, you feel me? She, she, like, ever since she lost her oldest son, it kind of get to her. So I know that she really want grandchildren. So... I'm just like one day when I turn like it's 27. Shit, right now I'm 20. I'm only 23. I got I got a whole lot more living to do. A whole lot more bitches to fuck. Okay, so um, <laughs> that's real. You, you already got the guy in mind who who like you want your baby to look like or? Well, nah, he gotta be cute. <laughs> okay, so okay, okay, so you on some breed and shit. So the nigga gotta be yeah, light skin. Yeah, I mean, I, dark nah, skin. he can be. He gotta be dark skin. Like, but he can't be ugly. So like, you want a pretty dark nigga. Yeah. Just do that shit yeah, all the way the right way. Pretty, bro. Do that shit all the way the right way. Yeah. Get the paperwork. Go to the bank. Mm -hmm. Do yeah, that shit. Why. Cause my baby mom fucked me all the way up. So <laughs> you, you do that shit all the way the right way. You see? Yeah. Oh, I'm coming to show my we gonna talk about that one. One day we ain't got no guests and niggas do all that counseling, we gonna talk about it. But my baby mom fucked me. Do it all the way the right way. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you gonna get the uh, artificial insemination thing? You got to if you're going to do it the right way. You do it the ratchet way, it could be some consequences later on down the line. You feel me? This nigga might want to come back in your life, bitch. He might hit you with the life. I've always loved you until two, three. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no way. I've always loved you until two, three. <laughs> I'm like playing hit and get hooked. Hell no. Yeah, you ain't even hit it for real, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Why you just gave me what you got in you? Gave me some sperm. Me. What you talking about? You always love it. He don't even know me. I'm saying, it get weird. Like, how my baby mama hit it with me? She know we was never going to be nothing on never, but that nah, shit. And, I, and I, them I, kids change, change a lot. It was. I love my baby. I was just pissed, though, because she. I felt like she tricked me. But I'm going to talk about this shit one day. Right? <laughs> he thought I felt like she could trick me. Yeah, man, that's funny. Do this shit the right way, though. Y'all Y'all do this shit the right way, man. Y'all go to the bank shit. What? 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 You don't want no little rascals? No little, no, no little no, big heads? I really want to I really um, child that. I really only want to have a child for my brother. I feel like if I have a child, that will just be my brother. I, I never like heard older people say that. My brother will be in my child. Feel me? So that's the only reason why I will have one. And for my mama, like I said. But so you don't want that for yourself. It's for other people. It's for other people. Mm -hmm. You want that for myself. I to me, I'm too, I'm too, I move too much to have a child for myself. I've been, I took that motherfucker to my mama. 
and left them. Well, I mean, um, a lot of people wait till they get older. And that's they, what, and that's they, what I'm gonna they, wait on, cause I still want to enjoy my life. I'm only 23. I have a child right now. Like I'm gonna be fucked up. Like but, I ain't gonna be fucked up, but it's gonna stop my life a lot, and I and I don't got time to stop my life right now. But, like, I'm gonna go. But a lot of people say it's the best thing they ever done in it, their it, life. And it is. It is. It is. And they was like, if I knew it was this fun, I would have had kids early. That's what I hear like, when they were. Nah, I, I still wouldn't have had kids early. I still would have waited until I was like 27. But, like, I done had a kid before. Like, but I got an abortion. My grandma. Oh, you a murderer. I'm not going to say I'm a murderer because the way it happened, like, I feel like my, like, I didn't want it. Anyway, you raped or something? Yeah, and like I didn't want the kids. So I'm not finna keep that motherfucker. Who was it by uncle or something? Hell no. Nah, by this nigga got down over there by um my auntie house. But yeah. He did? I hope so. Nah, I seen that nigga the other day. And I, I, matter of fact, I seen him like a month ago. It is. I was going to go get some weed. And I cussed that and cleaned the fuck out. I swear to God. Like he from the hood I or had he? My gun, I was shot, huh? He from the hood or he like was just like around at his time. Oh, I don't know, nigga, bro. I think I had to die. I was and I like the reason things. I, I and I was only seventeen years old, bro. I had just got out of high school. I was in job corps. Like that shit blowed the fuck out of me. Like. I was already just trying to stay in job court because I couldn't even stop smoking. You feel me? And I had got put out of job court. Like you know, when you go to job court, you can only you can only fail your drug test one time. Mm -hmm. Fuck that! I failed it twice. Then you talk about no, you gotta go. So at that time, like that happened, and then and then I I called my grandma. And she like shit. Just come on home, bro. and I'm like, all right. And my auntie and my grandma, like my mama wanted me to keep it, but my grandma and them they knew like. And when I had went to the doctor and shit, like, they just knew, like, it wasn't, I just didn't want it for me. I wasn't going to take care of that motherfucker. That motherfucker was going to be at my for so long. I don't know. I would. You, you talk about like it's a dog or something. Right. But I get it, though, because it's best to feel it's, like that than to actually act, act, actually act like you was going to do some shit. And then when the baby got here, he'll be a, a complete ass wife. Yeah, you, you know feel what me? What like, I would rather, I, I would rather be truthful with myself than anything else so I'm saying I think a dead be better than a killer hell no but it, it's for certain if it, and, I'm and if, on that. I ain't gonna lie to you if I would've kept my baby my baby would've had gonorrhea like cause I had it you get what I'm saying just from that incident you get what I'm saying so no I just I couldn't do that I can't oh, no, so you, you can't get rid of it once you get pregnant like or yeah you can get rid of it but like the way it happened like I, it, I had had it for so long, I didn't even know I had it while I was pregnant. Like, the doctor said eventually the baby was going to have it because I had it for so long. You get what I'm saying? So you still got it or something? Hell no. What the fuck? Right. <laughs> I went to the doctor and they got there and fixed me up. You feel me? But, yeah, like, they gave me a little shot in the ass, you know. <laughs> nah, real nigga like, shit, though, like, I, I hear, like, <laughs> off of the projects, a lot of times you have these girls that get pregnant by these dope boys and because the baby look like the daddy, she nah, cuss them no like that. out. Yeah, the baby like and that's shit. fucked up. And it's like you knew all along that you weren't gonna be with this man and that you weren't gonna like the sight of the baby. You already knew that when the baby got into this world you was gonna treat Mom, the baby. My child was gonna be pretty as fuck. I'm pretty for it, so I wasn't worried about none of that. But it was just a But if you know you was going to pretty people can have ugly babies. I wasn't having an age. My genes too good, I'm telling you. I just feel like you know you're going to treat your baby like, if you're going to treat your baby like Precious coming into, into the yeah, world. Don't yeah, don't bring it in here. See, your baby can look like Precious. My, but my baby's <laughs> What if your baby looks like Precious? My name is Precious, precious though. That's your real name up. Precious? Yes. Nah, you count. I swear to God, that's my real name. Two, two, three, precious. No, right. don't call me that uh, shit. <laughs> uh, hey, at least I ain't fat, though. That's your name? At least I ain't fat, though. <laughs> my name precious. At least I ain't fat. My name precious. Yeah, yeah. That's cow. At least I ain't fat, though. Ah, I can still see it. Ah. <laughs> at least I ain't fat. I would have never guessed that was your fucking name. Bro. I, I'm sweet as fuck. You could guess it. Hell nah, I don't know. never took you to one of no fucking friends. <laughs> okay, my daddy named me that. My mama hated that. You had one of the old school dad. He was player. 
She's so precious. I'm a nigga. Yeah, like, he will ah. play. He will play her. Like, like two chain. If that baby is Mercedes, we go name him Mercedes. You say you tell her. Okay. Okay, so tell us about the projects you got coming out and um, I guess how the people can find it and, and stream and download it. All right, so tonight at 12 p.m., I will be dropping an EP. I mean, I will, 223 in the trenches, you did. Got now, every song, it's going to be seven songs on it. You feel me? You're going to hear my my brother voice on that. Shout out to Ego. He gave you that idea. Hey. You did. Got that done, you feel me? But, yeah, I'm dropping it on all platforms. Apple Music, YouTube. Not YouTube yet. Not YouTube yet. Why not? It take a little while. It take a little while for YouTube. YouTube is very hard. I think it's like a week and a half after you drop on all streaming platforms. Yeah. You, like you feel me? It start doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, all of that tonight at 12 p.m. And then I got a music video on the way to Letter to A. Um, I'm gonna go to my brother's funeral tomorrow. I'm not. I was gonna shoot a video out there tomorrow. You mean Brain? Yeah, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that Wednesday because by the time I by the time Flo, you know Flo. Yeah. By the time he get to me, it's gonna be nine, so and and the grave site gonna be closed, so I'm gonna just do that Wednesday and then go record at sixteen hundred block where that nigga used to be at Alliance Street. So I'm gonna record that tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, so you doing that tomorrow? Who pull up? You gotta pull up Alliance Street. Up. You know it's We yeah. live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you um, so you went through Distro Kid, or you went through um? I actually went through both. I actually got both. I have Distro Kid and I have United Masters. But see, the thing with Distro Kid, they kept wanting me to. It's it's hard as fuck to go on Distro Kid. Like they need to cap. Like they kept wanting me to put my lyrics to my songs in there, and I couldn't do that. So I had to switch to United Masters. And United Masters, they took my shit. And put that bitch on and everything. You know, in United Masters, you can either do it for free and have ninety percent of your royalties and then get ten, or you can do it a hundred percent and just pay fifty nine ninety nine a month. So I actually pay for Distro Kid and United Masters, which I know I shouldn't be doing. Nothing wrong with it. Listen, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. That one hundred. What you got? I already got that. Uh, the, the folk need to know about. I got um no hook straight bars on all platforms. I got um Cold World featuring two two three B no on all platforms. You feel me? Check that out. Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, they everywhere. You know, the only two singles I dropped, so feel me? I've been working, I only been doing this for a month, so That's hard though, bro. You feel me? Like and I, I I've been working, man. I only do it for my brother, I swear to God, and my family really. I swear. I just really want my family to believe in me. You feel me? Cause I always been a bad child. Like, I don't run away. Like, I don't run away. You feel me? Because keep me in the house for shit on this floor. I'm talking about bitch, I'm gone. So, I just want to show them, like, because, like I told them, I'm not finna work on 9 to 5. So, since I'm not finna work on 9 to 5, I'm gonna show y'all I'm working. You get what I'm saying? And they yeah, see um, that now. You ain't, they ain't gotta believe in you because sometimes you the only one who's gonna believe in you. They just come yeah. on the board later on. They, they, and they come, that's how it is. They coming on the board. They coming on the board. I don't see you going up at these shows. You ain't uh, did one unlit show yet. I'm Liddy. Liddy. I get it from my brothers. Hey. All right. I guess we gonna um, end this and we gonna leave out on, um, what is it, Sins? Mm, nah, you can leave that on. Um, you can leave that on. Um, <laughs> you don't show sure it on two, two, three. <laughs> right, well, I mean, he's gonna play anyway. Like, by the time <laughs> the second song finished, we'll come into. Um, <laughs> we're gonna come into Miss Baby Cake. So we'll uh, be right back.